Hello. Climate change is hitting us harder and faster than scientists predicted even a few years ago. Devastating droughts in Australia and Africa, forest fires in Greece and California, all are indications of what is now upon us. And a report released just this month tells us we can expect global sea levels to rise by a meter by the end of this century, causing flooding which would affect a quarter of the world's population. So the need for action is urgent. It's a complex issue, but the bottom line is simply stated. Somehow we must ensure that global emissions peak and begin to decline in the next eight years. As world leaders, that must be your priority. In a time of global economic recession, it may be tempting to defer action on climate change and focus on the economic recovery. But that would be a tragic mistake. For one, any recovery will surely falter unless the challenge of climate change is met. But for another, as you are investing in building the economy of the future, you have a unique opportunity to ensure that that economy is low carbon, that it's an economy which protects the climate. And finally, when it comes to climate change, any delay is very costly. Solutions become more expensive, success becomes less likely. Global warming threatens every aspect of our lives. It threatens our health, it threatens our economy, it threatens our security. That's why we need a global climate deal, not just for the environment, but for our future social and economic well-being. If you are the leader of an industrialized country, it means that you must, here in New York, commit to sharp reductions in your own emissions and to robust funding that will allow developing countries to meet this challenge. If you are the leader of an emerging economy, it means you must step forward and also play your part. Commit yourself to putting your economy on a low carbon development path. Your environment ministers and negotiators have been working hard over the last two years to come to an agreement in Copenhagen, but they cannot succeed without your leadership. It's time for you as heads of state to step up. Thank you.